The notion of the unreasonable effectiveness of mathematics in the natural sciences is a fascinating enigma that continues to captivate the minds of scholars, scientists and mathematicians. This concept was eloquently brought to the forefront in a seminal essay by the physicist Eugene Wigner in 1960. Wigner marvelled at the peculiar power of mathematics to unveil the secrets of the natural world with an almost mystical precision. This uncanny ability of mathematical structures to mirror the workings of the physical realm begs a deeper exploration of the underpinnings of this profound correlation. At the heart of this exploration is the recognition of mathematics as a language, a set of abstract symbols and relations that can describe patterns observed in the natural world with astonishing accuracy. This precise alignment between mathematical equations and physical phenomena often appears to transcend mere coincidence, suggesting a deeper, perhaps intrinsic relationship between the abstract realm of numbers and the tangible reality we inhabit. One facet of this effectiveness lies in the intrinsic simplicity and elegance of mathematical expressions. With a handful of equations, one can encapsulate a vast array of complex phenomena. For instance, the fundamental laws of physics, from the equations of motion to the laws of electromagnetism. For instance, the fundamental laws of physics, from the equations of motion to the laws of electromagnetism, are succinctly expressed in mathematical terms often with a beauty and elegance that evoke a sense of awe and wonder. These laws, once uncovered, reveal a world of predictability and order that govern the chaotic semblance of nature. Moreover, mathematics offers a tool of generalization, where specific observations can be distilled into universal truths. A mathematical equation doesn't just describe a singular event, but unveils a pattern recurrent across a spectrum of scenarios. This power of generalization is what allows scientists to extrapolate from the known to the unknown, to make predictions about yet unobserved phenomena, and to uncover the underlying order amidst the apparent disorder of the natural world. Furthermore, the advent of more sophisticated mathematical tools has often preceded the discovery of new physical laws. The development of calculus by Isaac Newton and Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz, for example, provided the necessary framework for articulating the laws of motion and gravitation. In the realm of quantum mechanics, abstract algebra and Hilbert space theory became the bedrock upon which the strange and counterintuitive quantum world could be understood. Yet, despite its profound effectiveness, the alliance of mathematics and physical reality also poses philosophical quandaries. The alignment between the abstract and the concrete seems to suggest a pre-existing harmony, an orchestrated coherence between the mind and cosmos. Some argue that this effectiveness reflects a fundamental truth about the universe, perhaps echoing the platonic idea of a mathematical reality lurking behind the veil of perceptible phenomena. Others posit a more anthropic explanation, suggesting that our mathematical frameworks are honed by the very physical reality they seek to describe a product of the human cognition shaped by the natural world. Moreover, there are realms where mathematics shows its limitations, where the precise clarity of numbers gives way to ambiguity and uncertainty. The turbulent behaviour of chaotic systems, the indeterminacy inherent in quantum mechanics, and the emergent complexities of biological systems often challenge the bounds of mathematical articulation. The unreasonable effectiveness of mathematics continues to be a source of philosophical reflection, scientific inquiry, and even mystical speculation. It beckons us to ponder the fabric of reality, the nature of cognition, and the mysterious correspondence between the mind's abstract creations and the cosmos's tangible manifestations. In grappling with this enigma, we are led to the frontiers of understanding where the dance between the abstract and the concrete unfolds in a choreography as ancient as the universe and as young as the latest mathematical conjecture. Through this lens, the journey of discovery is not merely an outward exploration, but an inward odyssey into the depths of understanding, where the realms of the abstract and the concrete converge into a poetic narrative of existence.